Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to present Tokens to Token Vision Transformer by Liu Wan and all. So in this presentation, we are going to cover efficient vision transformer architecture, which improves the original vision transformer paper by Dozovitsky and all. Uh, these improvements include training, sample efficiency, the feature richness, and leveraging redundancy on the attention backbone design. So the proposed architecture includes a layer-wise tokens-to-token transformation, which is a progressive tokenization of images, and an efficient backbone with deep neural structure, inspired from uh, well-designed uh, and well-known CNN architectures. So note that they are not using CNN in, within their structure, but they are only inspiring from the way these CNNs were built. We're taking a step back to the Vision Transformer by Dozovitsky and all in 2020. And here we're going to present uh, the architecture where we are inputting an, an image, say it's 90 by 90 uh, image, and then we are, are hard splitting this image to not into nine patches. Each patch will have a 10 by 10 uh, by three dimension, that is, uh, and we are taking this, this, this sequence of images and we are inputting to the linear projection of flattened patches layer. That is, that is, we are going to flatten each patch and then we are going to do a linear projection. So the, the flattening each patch, by flattening each patch, that is, we are taking the values of each pixels from each patch. Let's, let's say we're talking about the first patch. So we're taking each values of the pixels and then we're putting them into one uh, dimensional vector, right? We're doing that for each and every uh, channel within the, uh, the patch itself. That is, in this case, we are having a 300 dimensional uh, vector because we are having three channels and then each channel has 100, 100 pixels. Uh, of course, we're taking the values of the pixels. So, we we uh, we want to map each patch to a constant latent vector. Uh, we we are doing this through a trainable projection uh, by multiplying uh, each flattened patch vector to the embedding matrix, which is E, which has the uh, dimension of three hundred by D. And, D, and the dimension of D is actually set priorly. Uh, for example, in the original paper, we have three models. The base model has a 768 dimensional uh, uh, latent vector, uh, dimensional latent vector, and the uh, large vision transformer was 1,028, and the, the huge dimensional uh, and the huge vision transformer has a dimension of the latent vector of uh, 1280. So here's a small analogy that I like to, uh, to make uh, with the natural language processing. So the, uh, in the natural language processing, we are inputting words uh, to, the, uh, to the transformer for ex instead of the patches. For example, say that we are using uh, a sequence of nine words where each, where, where if we're using some word embedding like CBO, um, for example, using CBO word to vec model, uh, we are actually taking this the, the word into a 512 dimensional vector, and we're inputting the whole sequence to, along to the positional uh, embedding to the transformer encoder, right? And so the input will will be, of course, split into keys, queries, and values where the keys and queries are multiplied together and then normalized and then softmaxed and eventually uh, multiplied by uh, the values. And by choice, we can make the input and the output um, equal that is, uh, in, in terms of dimension. That is, if the, uh, the values are similar after map to the trainable uh, weights, ma weight matrix, um, matrix if it's similar to the input, that, we are, that is, we are conserving the uh, input and the output dimension throughout all the uh, embedding layers. So, okay, we are going to talk about the limitation of vision transformer, but before that, let's talk about where the vision transformer actually is powerful. So the vision transformer is powerful in the high data regime, that's one. And two, it's powerful when it comes to transfer learning. For example, we have 
Uh, we can do some, I mean, transfer learning on ImageNet 21K or the GJFT uh, 300, and then apply it to our own um, uh, our own data set, right? And actually, experimentally, it has been proven that training from scratch in the low data regime and the mid data regime, actually, training from scratch will not out overcome the um, the, the similar size CNN, like ResNet here, ResNet 50, but once we do some uh, transfer learning, it will actually overcome these uh, CNNs. But the problem resides is that we do not have access to such huge uh, data sets like the JFT300 owned by Google or the uh, ImageNet 21K, and we don't have actually also the resources to, to uh, pre-train them. And that's one one uh, huge, I mean, limitation of the vision transfer. The second limitation is the simple tokenization or the creation of the patcher, which fails to model the local structure like uh, eight edges and lines, right? And the third one is the vision transformer backbone. So it, the vision transformer has a redundant attention backbone that limits feature richness. Um, here we have feature representation of three models, right? Um, for now, we're going to discard this row, and we're, talking, we're going to talk about ResNet 50 and the Vision Transformer, um, here the large version, right? So, the structure information of the features in the Vision Transformer is poorly modeled, with only the global relations are being captured by all the attention blocks. We observe some invalid feature maps with zero and um, and or or two large um, values like uh, like these in, in, in red boxes. Um, so the green boxes shown in the uh, ResNet fifty um, show I mean the low learn the low learn structure uh, features right, which is not shown in the vision trans the original uh, vision transformer paper uh, by Dozovitsky and all. So this is this is the model of our uh, this is the model the architecture of our paper the T T I I like to talk uh, to name it T T T T which is better than T to T transformer the uh, tr tokens to token transformer or vision transformer by Lee and all uh, 2021 uh, the architecture composes of layer wise trans T to T transformation uh, which is a progressive tokenization of images. And then an efficient backbone uh, inspired from CNN, which in, in their example, the best uh, one was a deep neural structure. So the contribution of this paper resides in three, uh, wait, uh, in three terms. So a transformer architecture that outperforms CNNs on standard mid-size image uh, data sets like ImageNet. And also, uh, these architectures, they do not prior um, uh, pre-training. Secondly, we have a progressive tokenization method for vision transformer, which is uh, an encoding of important local structure. And finally, the backbone redesigning of vision transformer based on this uh, CNN architecture design. So the progressive tokenization has two main uh, parts. So the restructurization, which is reshaping the image and then a soft split, right? So, say we have a token uh, which is composed of multiple patches. We, we input them through the uh, T2T transform, transformer, we will talk about them in a few, but then the output will be TI prime, uh, composed, for example, here with, by nine patches. So, the first thing we do is reshape, reshape it as an image. That is, like, it's going to be like uh, put, in a, I mean, put in a way as an image, but it has a width, right? Uh, and then we do a soft split. So the soft split, split will be some, for example, here we call kernel of two and stride of one. Uh, we'll take one, the, the patch number one, two, four, five, we unfold them and then we uh, concatenate them in the third axis. And then we move by stride of one uh, to the two, three, five, six and do that over and over again and to, to eventually have the from T I one uh, T I prime to T I plus one, uh, moving from a token having nine patches to a token having four patches, which is 
uh, which is here written like the reduce, reducing the length of the tokens, right? And then again, we do the same transformer, uh, T to T transformer, and then we reshape it and then over and over again. Uh, so reducing the length of uh, the tokens, the length of the to tokens, but then increasing the, uh, the, the channel, uh, number of channels for each batch, right? So we start, as an, an initial condition, we start with the uh, T1 equals the soft uh, split of the original image, uh, and uh, of the original image, and then we will we will unfold it and then uh, do the uh, multi-layer per perception of the uh, uh, multi-head um, soft tension, uh, multi-head uh, tension of the, the uh, image, and then we shape it and then uh, iteratively do that over and over again. So now let's talk about the backbone. So the efficient backbone for T two T vision transformer has um, reduces the redundancy and then improve, improve. It's found to, to reduce the redundancy and uh, improve the uh, feature richness. So here we have many architecture designs proposed by this paper. For example, borrowing the uh, concept of dense connection from DenseNet and apply it directly to the transformers or the concept of deep narrow versus, versus shallow wide structures as wide ResNet, the squeeze and, uh, and exit, uh, the SE net networks, and the split heads and multi-head attentional layer as ResNet, and the ghost operations as GhostNet. Um, if, uh, eventually, they found out that deep, nor deep neural structures as wide ResNet are the, are the best, and they, they are the ones that they, uh, they are done all the, the uh, uh, experiments on. So from ResNet wide to vision transformer and T2T vision transformer. So the wide ResNet uh, has layer depth, the, uh, a layer depth decrease and increase uh, the ResNet width, right? So as I said, the, the, is, these are the uh, architecture adoption and then the, the final design that they took is the deep neural backbone. So this is a summary of both modules, the token to token module and then the backbone. And after doing this T2T module from taking the original image and then to have a final fixed token, then we can input it to the vision, the actual vision backbone we are, uh, is, uh, we are taking, um, we are adopting. And here the, the authors actually talked about ways to, to um, actually use for, uh, some efficient, efficient um, transformers like Performer, for example, and the ease of uh, using them in this uh, backbone. Now back to the pink, <laughs> pink results, which is the T2T vision transformer. Back to these results, and then we can see in the mid and the, the um, low left uh, and the low data set regime, Actually, T2T does not need two things. Does not need the uh, pre-training, and then it up outperforms the CNS directly and the vision transformer. And we can see from the very first uh, layer, we can see those learned features. Uh, I mean, in the green boxes, right? So, as a conclusion, vision transformers are mostly beneficial in the high regimes. Higher regimes and the T2T -T vision transformer are better to capture low-level features and thus outperform well-designed CNS. Thank you for your attention.